Do you know what game makes me want to chow down on a bowl of Cheerios and fentanyl after playing about an hour of it? Rust. The grimy, greasy PC gamer gasoline that is Rust. In Rust, you try to survive as long as you can by building shelter, eating, drinking, and finding materials to craft weapons to defend yourself from other players. The problem is that the other players' bedrooms look like this. I've known people who would set alarms four hours before classes just so they could improve on their base so nobody raided it during the school day. The people who play Rust are so good at it, so as a new player, it's really difficult to compete with everybody else on the server. Chances are, once you go to rejoin the lobby, your stuff will be taken and you'll have to start all over again. The hardcore nature of Rust is really fun once you start making your way up the food chain, but if you're just a casual player who only hops on every now and then, Rust is absolutely not for you. Speaking of losing all your stuff though, a game I absolutely adore is PUBG. In PUBG, you drop onto a massive play area where 100 players fight to survive. The game is permadeath, so once you die, you lose all your stuff and you have to start from square one to try and win the number one spot. I've always loved how PUBG gets you into the action quick, but also has enough downtime to breathe and strategize. Sea of Thieves is a multiplayer pirate game where you try to make money by bounty hunting, treasure hunting, and animal Ooh. hunting. Come here, you little... Oh, yeah. That's what I'm talking hey, about. No. Don't you like this? Don't you like Slipknot? Real Slipknot fans will understand. My ass against the wall. <laughs> it also blends all of my favorite things from both games, creating, in my opinion, the ultimate multiplayer experience. Games like Tarkov and Rust are appealing because of the intense risk and reward system. Sure, losing 10 plus hours of work is hard, but taking somebody else's hard-earned resources feels otherworldly, especially when you know that they have to start all over again because you were responsible for destroying everything they held dear. The problem is that a lot of the time you won't actually be doing that in the game. You'll be running around a big world hoping to god not to run into a player with better stuff than you and just trying to get yourself started. Sea of Thieves also has a risk and reward system that puts the players at each other's throats. If you find a bunch of loot and keep it on your ship before selling it, a lot of players will want to sink you and take it for themselves. The nice thing about Sea of Thieves is getting a lot of loot only takes about an hour. So if you do lose all of your stuff, it's really not that big of a deal, but it still does leave you with a pit that can only be filled with grog and gold. Wait, 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 come with me. Before we head off, yeah. we have some unfinished grog and come in here. Oh, right. Oh, yeah, boy. To the ship. All right, that'll do it. Let's get sailing. Yeah, you can come on. Oh, oh. Oh, oh. Huh? But yes, aside from alcoholism, getting your loot stolen in Sea of Thieves really sucks. However, taking somebody else's loot leaves you feeling like an absolute boss. And because Sea of Thieves is faster paced than Tarkov or Rust, that happens quite often. Alright, now sails down. Alright, alright, alright. Sails down! Put your pants down. We went, wait, 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 wait. <laughs> yo, what? Last night I was plundering with my matey Kai's, and we came across a gold mine. Damn. This is a lot of money, but I think we should get even more money. I want to be the richest pirate in the sea. I want to have enough money to afford a one-bedroom apartment in southern Ontario. You feel me? Oh, that's going to love. Yeah, <laughs> since we had it. You know, every day I'm thinking to myself, oh, oh, oh watch the left, watch the left. Oh, oh. <laughs> oh. oh, we got the skeleton ship and them shooting us. Oh, one of them just sunk. He just sunk one of them, oh, but sweet. the player's still alive. Oh, there's another sloop in the distance too. Hold up, I'm uh, I'm repairing the ship. Okay. Yeah. Damn it. Holy it's, crap. You what? Two ships? Hundred is not enough. Need more cannonballs. Oh, I sunk it. I sunk oh, the you skeleton did? ship. Holy crap! But the players though, I I'm almost sure they're gonna come on board. Unless they're really stupid. Are they- are they going away from us? Eventually, the ship we were fighting decided to bail, leaving us with all the loot. For a moment, we thought we had won. But we had no idea that they were going to turn around and try to kill us again. There's like a couple pieces left. It's alright, bro. We got bigger things uh, to worry about now, man. The cannon! Lot. You did? Here. You got another guy on the ship. Dude. Oh! He's on fire, though. Killed him, I killed I him, killed I killed him. him. Yeah. Okay, let's be fair, quick. Yeah, 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 we're good, we're good. I think we should still sank, so if- if they sank, they can't come back. All right. Oh, he I killed died. me, bro. I died. Oh, no. Taking so long to load. Yeah, it is taking long to load. We did get a lot of loot. Maybe it's just taking a while to load that. I think we sunk. You really think so? Yeah. No! 
guys! Nah, where were we? Let's go. Let's nah. go back. Right I had completely lost hope. I was positive we weren't getting our loot back. But suddenly, we found the ship again. Come up there oh, too. oh my god! Oh my god! Guys! Guys! Ship! Ship! You? Ship! Ship! Yeah, yeah, yeah! Do you see him? Right, like, like to our left, to Wait, our left. Oh, that's, that's them, that's them. them. Let's, that's go, let's go, let's go, let's go! Okay, oh, man nah. the cannons, man the cannons. I'm gonna load the cannons. <laughs> Holy f Oh, we're coming. We are. Oh, we're coming. I am, I am coming right now. Me too, bro. Also, I'm so sorry about the audio for these specific clips. I had no idea my mic was a little bit quieter than Kai's. Make sure to drop a real mean comment letting me know. Fight. I see loot beside them. Like, oh, no, they're looting. Yeah, I yeah. see their dinghy boats. Do you see them? Yeah, I see them. Wait, turn more right. Okay. Don't turn too directly at them. Okay. Otherwise, we have a disadvantage. All right, all right, all right. Just full right, full right. Okay, that's the plan. Okay, they're missing. Now I can hit him. Oh, hey, they, they shot me off the cannon. Oh, I just died. I just died. Heal me. Okay, okay. Guys. Oh, they killed me. No. We fought desperately to get that loot. But in the end, we couldn't find the ship one last time. The nice thing about losing in Sea of Thieves is that everything you lose is something you never really had. You see, when you sell all these things for gold, once you have the gold, that's permanent until you spend it. So you're never knocked back to square one. You're only knocked back to where you started. Something that always takes me out of a really good gaming experience is when a marker on the map tells me where to go and then text tells me what to do. In Sea of Thieves, if you want to find a treasure chest, you need to look at the map, find the island matching the shape, and use your own direction skills to find where the treasure is buried. There's pretty much no hand holding and as a result something as simple as finding buried treasure feels really rewarding. I like that you loot cannonballs from barrels and have to manually load each shot and I also love how if your boat is hit you need to manually patch the holes and rush to throw all the water out of your ship. Oh hey I found a chest of sorrow. Sorrow? Yeah. If I know this chest this chest will fill our ship up with water. What? Like every now and then he starts crying and it'll start filling it up. Oh, oh he's crying already. Oh Urgh. my gosh, that chest keeps flooding our shit. The immersive design of the game makes combat super enjoyable and the multiplayer even better. Adventuring the ocean with a friend feels like sailing unexplored lands. And while riding across Red Dead Online is fun, there's not much of an exploration rush because you always know where you're going to end up. You know, I think the best part about Sea of Thieves is that pretty much everything you can buy is cosmetic. So as a result, the combat is entirely skill-based. You'll never have to be annoyed at somebody having a higher level weapon than you, because all you have to do is just be more prepared next time, or get the f*** out of there when you see a big shit approaching. Holy f I think that a lot of companies throw in a multiplayer option for their games, but make it bare bones as possible. It's easy to just throw in split screen and say, have fun guys, but actually designing a game around the idea of teamwork makes the experience infinitely more fun. I'm I'm sure if you guys have played It Takes Two, you know what I'm talking about. Well, the combat in Sea of Thieves pretty much relies on you having a crew. There is so much that needs to be done. The sails need to be raised and put down. The ship needs to be steered. When that's happening, somebody needs to be manning the cannons. And when that's happening, somebody needs to be patching the holes of the ship. If there's a 2v2 or a 4v4, the winner will always be the team with the better chemistry, which is why me and Kai's never f***ing win. Sea of Thieves is for the people like me who want to play Rust, but don't have the patience or time for it. It is perfectly casually competitive and it's so fun it just tickles my balls you know? i tried sea of thieves about four years ago and absolutely hated it i refunded it and titled it the most boring game in the world but after giving it another go my mind has completely changed and i recommend it to anybody who wants a casually competitive open world pirate experience because i can assure you you won't regret it if you've played the game or haven't, what are your thoughts on Sea of Thieves? Do you think there's other games out there that can learn something from it? Leave your answer in the comments below and I'll respond as soon as I possibly can. Thank you so much for taking time out of your day to watch this video and uh, have a good one.